nakikita yung participant. No? Hindi ko nakikita yung mga nandyan. Kaya ginagawa ko, mini-minimize ko lang yung window ng meet. Yan, nasa gilid. So, kita, kita nyo pa rin ako na parang mayroon dyang maliit na portion na kita nyo pa rin ako and kita ko yung iba. So, a-unpin ko na yung sarili ko para makita ko yung iba. So, there, like there, nakita ko yung Ayan, si Nathan nandyan, si Blay. Gerard Gastro, you're here, you're, you open your bid. Si Yambaw, and then I can select, randomly select kung sino yung gusto kong mag-appear dito sa, sa, sa ano ko. Okay? So, yun siya. And this would be our screen, guys. So, nakita ba yan? Ayan, nakita ba yung screen? Guys, nakikita nyo ba yung screen natin? Hello? Apo, sir. Hi. Yes, sir. Ay, kita. Yes, sir. Now, look. Uh, I've only prepared 12 questions about page dalawa. No? So, before... Uh, ang dami nyo, no? Ang dami nyo. 76 na tayo in total. Okay, let's start. Para dumami, para mukhang madami, gawin na natin siyang ikitigisang tanong bawat screen. Now, Guys, kita nyo yung, kita nyo yung pinat, uh, ginagawaan ko. This is the same thing that you see in my video lessons. Yung screen na yan, yung green board. Kasi medyo ano, sa, sa, ano, sa, sa original board na kulay dark green. No? Medyo ano ko doon, attached pa ako. Ayoko pa nga ng whiteboard. So ko chalk, yung ganyan, chalk. So you see, this is my chalk, colored yellow. Can you see my writing, guys? Guys, can you see my writing? Dami niya, wala mo. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Okay, let's start. No, let's start. Sana wala nang dumagdag dahil sayang yung mamimiss nila. Or kung dadagdag ko sa sali pa sila, sana ngayon na. In 3, 2, 1, go. So, let's read the question, guys. At what rate should the amount of 3,000 be invested or in a simple interest of 450 annually? You've encountered this in your in your uh, senior high business model. So interest earned is equal to the principal times the rate times the time element. Usually the time element is in years, right? Now, nakalagay, nakalagay dyan annually. Uh, so one year lang yung time. The interest is even, it's 450. And the principal is 3,000. And then at what rate? So that's what's being asked. And the time element is one year. So basically a very simple equation, right? So ganun na siya. So kunyari, sinabi dyan, was to earn a simple interest of 450 semi-annually. How will you do it? Mababago yung time element. So magiging one half na lang yung time. Pero kapag in in one year, tapos semi-annually yung condition, what do you do? You 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 divide you uh, change the rate. Mga ganun. Pero this is a simple problem. So and of course, bawal ang calculator in uh, the entrance exams. Sa board exams, pwede, no? pero in entrance exams, bawal. So meaning you have to do it manually. So now look at this. Ah, uh, paano yung mga manual na ganyan? So cancel, cancel, mga ganyan. Bakit nandito si Lacson? Hindi naman divide. Forty five divided by fifteen. 3, tama ba? And 300 divided by 15, what's that? 20, right? And interest is always just multiplied to 100%. Wag niyong i-divide, guys. Mas multiplied na lang 100%. So that's 100% divided by 20. No, just keep that percent muna. 100 divided by 20 is 5 times 3. 15 and drop the percent. 15%. Okay? Okay. So oh, good enough for a warm-up question, right guys? Right. Let's have... Ah, sige, ganito ang gawin natin. Uh, I'll, I'll ask the question and let you solve for a uh, yes, minute. Yes, sir, yes. And isa, pa yun. Isa pa yun sa, sa crucial sa mga entrance examination sa mga CEDs. The time element. Usually, ang UP ang pinaka sakto. Sabi, 60 questions, 60 minutes. Meaning, one minute per problem is an average rate. Average rate is bigger. Ate Peo ang medyo nagugulat. 
Ibig sabihin, 90 questions in 60 minutes. Ibig sabihin, kailangan binisan. Yung mga ganun ba? So, so because of that, I will give you one minute for every problem. Okay? So, I flash you in next problem and I'll give you a minute. And after that, I'll solve it. Ayan, go. So, kung nalilitan, lalakihan ko na lang. There, that's uh, the best I can do. Go, the month, one minute. Hindi nyo kailangan sabihin yung sagot nyo. Just get ready with your answer. In time. Okay. Now, the concept here, guys, is if you will go back to the concept of this, it's a grade 8 concept called variation. Uh, variation. Now, you will see na, uh, that the variables involved here is the number of pages, that, that BP, and the time, which is in terms of hours. So, bakit gagawin ko ng terms of hours? Kasi the question says how many hours. Right? So meaning, how many, and then you uh, determine the, re the relationship. What do you think is the relationship between the variable P, the number of pages, and the number of hours? Of course, kung mas mahaba yung time to work, mas maraming page siya magagawa. Is that clear? So meaning the relationship is a direct variation. So P equals KH. So ganyan siya. Now put your P, sabi sa first condition, three pages. And then the constant of variation K can be done in 30 minutes. That's one half of an hour. Do you agree? What is K? Six. Six. <clears throat> so therefore, this is Six. now a complete equation of variation. Number of pages, number of hours. So how many hours will it take her to type 63 pages? So this is 63. And then you simply solve for H. So, H is 63 over 6. Or simplify that. that. That's 10 and 3 over 6 or 10 and a half of an hour. So, that's it. That's that's how you answer number 3. So, you, as you can see, nag-skip ako sa 2 kasi sa binigay na material ni Bly, I think yung number 2 ay napaka-simple. Na hindi na kailangan i-discuss. Any question dyan? May question ba dyan? Hey, okay, wala. Good. Uh, now, next. So, there are only 12 problems here. Good enough for a warm-up for our day one. Pero, uh, pag-iwalain ko ulit yung page. So, uh, see, nag-skip ako ng 5 and 6, which is madali. This is number 4. Your one minute starts now.
Uy, si Kore, si Imuluk. Imuluk. Okay, time's up, time's up. So, may bagong pasok. You know, you get the average of 4, that means the, the total must be, if the average is 80, the total is simply 360. Ah, 360. 320. It's 80 times 4. Tama ba? Ganun na ka simple. Then just add this up. 8, 1, 7, 6, 8, 2. 1, 6, and 2 is 9 and dulo. Tapos 8, 7, and 8 ay 2, 3. Right? Tama ba? 16 plus 7. Yes. No. Now, test taking strategy. Usually, may te meron kasing choices. to guys, right? May choices. So you know that if you subtract this, dapat 1 yung dulo. Tapos titi, pag una, una tingin ko lang sa choices, tapos sinuwerte tayo na meron lang doon 1, yung, isa, siya lang yung naging isang 1 ng dulo, di tapos na, hindi ko na so subtract. You get my point? So, pero syempre, kung bawa marami silang 1 yung dulo doon, you have to subtract. So what's the answer here? It should be an 80, I don't know, 320 minus 239. Come on, guys. An 81. Diba? That's it. An 81. Did you got this correct? So, sabi ko nga, wala pang algebra dito. Simula puro mga number-number lang. Yung mga napili ko. Kasi yun ang start. Eh. Yun ang start. Progression of exams ay usually starting with very basics, and then pairap ng pairap sa dulo. Yeah, take advantage of the time. So, yung mga ganong problem, dapat, you, you will take less than a minute to do this. Next. Okay, ito, number seven. Uh, go. May nakita akong pumasok kanina, kakapasok lang. Ay, walang video ang Orni. Ang Sandra. Sergey! Video, Sergey! Sergey, video! Sabi ko, video, hindi tahol. Time's up? One minute. Time's up. Wait. Ang daming nakakalimot ng ganitong problem, no? Yung mga, what we call, percent change. A discount is a percent change. No? Uh, laging ganito lang, tandaan. For, uh, new, minus old, over old. Yan. Times 100%. So, if the the thing na makukuha mo is a negative, that means it's a discount or a percent decrease. Pero kung positive, it's a percent increase. A discount is a percent decrease. So, if you'll see, the new one is 60 minus the old is 85. So, ang di divide Dapat sa old. 85. Times 100%. So, 60, 60, Minus 85 is 25. Negative. Pero di ko nalalagay. It's understood it's a discount. And then 85. And then times 100%. So just simplify. Divide by 5. What is 85 divided by 5? 
17, right? Yan. So, then 500 over 17, tapos per set. Alagay. Usually, pag ganyan, hindi ganyan yung choices. You have to divide. Tapos, ang choices, naka two decimal place. So, kailangan mong gawin to. 34. Is it a 9? No, 8. 8. Ay, kasha yung 9. Kasha yung 9, right? Yes, sir. Kasha yung 9. Oh. So, 9. And then, 7. Tapos yung decimal part, you have to take care of it. Separately na lang. Point, what, 4? And then, obviously, 1. So, 29.41%. Uh, so, that's it for this problem. So, new minus old over old times 100%. So, ganun lang lagi ang percent change. Okay. So, um, we are done with 4. There are 8 more to go. So, makuha nyo ba yung magiging flow natin? Lagi lang tayong ganito. We just answer questions. Random questions one at a time. So, uh, as I go to the material na sinet ni Bly, nakita ko sa dulo medyo may hirap yung iba. Yung simula, ganyan talaga ang simula. Parang ano, uh, hindi na lang random. Magsisimula sa basic and then progressing to difficult questions. So, good enough for a first day. Okay? Uh, now, uh, next to Yan na. Ito na yung mga tingin ko ano, mga nakakainis na problem. Pero you have to go through this. One minute. Try it. Now. As much as possible, don't don't use a calculator in our sessions. Remember, we are preparing for these sets. Sino si Majestic Pizza? Mad Marks, alam ko yan. Sa Gloretta yan. Sabi ng Wendy's. Ano yung chat ba? Zoyna, Zoyna, Majestic Pizza. Time's up. Okay, back up. Majestic Pizza. Okay, time's up. Si Bia. Lahat din nagbibig si Bia Corny. A game. So, wala, actually, the, there's nothing special in the problem, but you have to multiply, multiply lang. Ha? It's a 25 watt, lighted, a uh, kilowatt per hour, lighted from 8 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's how many hours here? How many hours? 9 hours. <laughs> 9. Uh, next time, but yung iba naman mag reply, ha? 9 hours. So, 9. Siyempre, ito times natin yung 150, 1 1.5 kilowatt hour per hour times 9 hours. And then, di, actually, hindi nyo kailangan lagay yung unit, no? Basta you have to be consistent. This is actually 25 over 1,000. Yan. No? Merong over 1,000. So, kung walang over 1,000, mali ka na. Bakit? This is just a watt. Remember, that's kilowatt. That's the, the, the uh, what makes this problem tricky. And then, of course, month. So, usually, pag month, wag na magtanong kung 
December ba yan? February? Obviously, the standard which is 30 days. Okay ba yun? So, there. We just simplify this. Una, I'll erase the zero. Yan. So, 3 over 100. And then, divide this one. Edi 4 na lang to. Right? And 1.5 is 3 halves. Galing ko yan. You can do it the scratch na ganyan. Then, 3 times 9 times 3. That is 81 over 8. Right? And 81 over 8 is 10 and 1 8. So this is a 10 pesos. 10, 10 ano, pesos. And 1 8 is 0. 0.125 cents. So there. That's the answer. Okay? Oh, now, ang dami nyo, no? Paano ba to? Sa Zoom kasi may mga, ano eh. May. Sino nakatama? Parang gano'n na lang. Sino nakatama? Tama ka pa, Blay? Edward, honestly, tama ka, Edward? Wala ka namang katapingan? Munti, mun, muntik na. Nasa ka, nagkamal eh. Wala kang over 1,000. Wala, wala. Ayun na nga. Yun yung ano dito sa problem. That's, that's what I'm telling you. The problems are not that hard. But you need the concepts. Okay, next. Okay, guys. Or, or ano, uh, konting pahin nga muna. Uh, ano tayo, mag, uh, mag uh, I get, I like to see some people muna. Yan, si, kita yung screen? So, ang nandito ay, si Nat, Nat Kakabert. Ba bakit nagsiswitch us, ah, Edward? Edward Bijo, hi, Kristen. Mr. <laughs> Apolina, Angel. Si Rian, Rian. Hindi ka pwede mag-bid, Rian. Dami mong post sa, ano, sa Twitter, tapos hindi ka nag-bid dito. Ha? Sino pa? Si Charlies. Gusto ko, nakita ko yung buhok ni Charlies kanina. Tinan eh. natin si Charlies, ha? You know, makita ko yung buhok niya. Makita ko naman, ha? Bigla ko, off-cam, off-cam. IDS, Dian, nandito pa rin si Dian, si Pag Dian. Dian, I have a, a good cut problem for you later. Then si... Si... Oh, meron pa mga incoming grade 11 din. Benjamin, nandito ka ulit. Pakita natin si Quaresma. Ah, Quaresma. Jamil. Pakita ka sa screen. Ayaw, ayaw. Ayun na. Si Quaresma. O oh, guys, kabatch nyo. Si Quaresma. Tunda tayo kay tunay na Quaresma. Saan na si Quaresma ang tunay? Gusto ko yung buhok ni Quaresma eh. <laughs> Saan si Quaresma? Ano wala? So anyway, ayun. So let's go to our next. Actually, we have six more. Ah, no. Ito pa pala. May isa pa. So seven more. Including this one. Game. Okay. Actually, ka, uh, blind mali yung ano. Yung nasa prop. Yung ano, yan. No? Nakita niyo yan. Percent days. It's nung tinignan ko siya. It's actually not percent. Yung pa yung given na yan. That is actually, wait lang, there, wait, 30. So guys, look at this given. This is not percent days, obviously. This is uh, 30 days. So yeah, bagoyin ko yung given. No, so, one minute starts uh, now.
So yun, time's up na, no? Pero sige pa, sige lang, continue solving. May mga problem na hindi ganun kabilis sagot, eh. Doon pa pasok yung mga matitipid yung seconds doon sa mga problems na madadaling isolve. Ganun siya, no? Time management, guys. Importante is in entrance exam. Hindi lang basta uh, yung kung ano yung alam mo. So you, you need to know how to manage the time. Pwede na mag-ayusin doon. Yan? Ito mga ka-ano ko. Sino yan? Mga ka-ano natin. So, Kai and Sohu, hindi ko alam kung bakit ganyan yung name. Kai in 30 days, so in 10 days, how long take both men to finish? The classic-classic representation ng work problem. Pakita lang natin. Work, done, rate of work, time spent working. Now, para siyang distance rate time problem. The rate of work that, you, that we'll use in work problems like this, this is a very simple work problem, is one job in, in the time given. So, kaya do it in 30 days, meaning one job in 30. Yan ang kanyang rate of work. So, in 10 days, so 1 over 10. Are we clear? Then question is, how long will it take both to finish the job if they will work together? Let that be X. Let that be X. So, yan ay work together. So, work equals rate times time. So, just multiply them. So, X over 30, then X over 10. Ganun ka simple. And all you need to do is add the two works done. Actually, hindi kompleto to, no? Itong W na to. Ang kompleto niyan ay fractional part of work done. No? Bakit fractional part? Yung trabahong nagawa ni Kai, yung trabahong nagawa ni So, if you combine them, it's equal to one complete job. Is that clear? Yan ang gusto ko sa work problem. Laging one yung anan. Kung tapos yung trabaho. Kasi guys, example, uh, kunyari, it says in the problem, how long will it take both to finish half the job? What should I write in the right side? Guys. One, one, one half. half. One half. Yan, on, no? One half. Yan. And then, ang daming variation ng mga problem na to. Yung Kaya's been working for three days, then so who joined? Yung mga gal let's let's uh, do that mamaya. Tinan natin. Pero uh, let's solve this first. This is a simple one. Times 30. So times 30. 30. Thirty over four is fifteen half, so that's seven and one half. Okay, siguro we we will still encounter work problems, no? In the material that Bly gave. Pero ngayon pa lang, i-modify natin yung question. I'll try to modify the question and see. Kunyari, ayun, sagutin natin. Kunyari, ka lang. So it's still 30 days yung, ano, yung given. Say, say the problem is hindi ganyan. How long will it take them to finish if they work together? Say ganito. Kai has been working for five days. No? When Sohu joined and helped. And then the question is, how long will it take them to finish the job? So, how is this problem? So, ganun pa rin, W, R, T, Kai, Sohu, 1 over 30, 1 over 10. Mababago lang yung time element. So, if, if Kai has been working for 5 days when Sohu joined, and X is the time na nag-finish nila both yung, yung, ano, yung job, then so has, uh, so has been only working for X days. How about Kai? X plus 5. X plus 5. And then, of course, you multiply. And then, you multiply. 
And then, lagi naman, kabasta kompleto yung job, lagi naman that when you add this up, it's equal to one completed job. So times 30, times 30, 30. Nakuha ba yun, guys? So a modified problem, so you have your 25. So they can finish the job in 25 over 4 or 6 and 1 fourth days. Clear? Oh, how about kung ganito? Uh, Kaya's been working for 5 days when Soho joined. After 10 days, after, uh, after 2 days, Kai left, leaving Soho to finish the job alone. So how long will Soho finish? So guys, parehas lang, nababago lang yung time element. Nakuha ba yan? I know, nung time nyo, nung grade 8 yata, at grade 8 yata, itong gandong problem. It's confusing because ang hirap naman talaga intindihin during those times. Are we clear, guys, in this problem? So we are now down to our last six. Okay. Uh, wait. Pag-iwalayin ko lang yung screen nito. Kita nyo naman, ha, hanggang dito, on the spot ang datingan kasi si... Si Blay naman, kailan, anong oras na sinin? Oh, go. I think we have encountered the problem this earlier. So go. Kaya na to. Time begins now. Blay, wala sa, wala sa kisa mo yung sagot, Blay. Nating ala ka lang. May sagot ka na? Sorry, sorry na, sorry na. <laughs> Gillian. Hi, Gillian. Tingnan si Gillian. Ay, walang video si Gillian. Ayan. <laughs> Oh, time's up, but sige, go ahead. Answer pa. I can see some are finished already. Dre, tapos ka na, no? Do you have an answer na? Then, si Kwisi. Then, si Kwisi, kung... Kwisi? Hindi nakabid si Kwisi. Okay, game, tinan natin. Una, I said, parang yung pareha siya ng earlier problem, which is actually, uh, I'm scrolling up, this problem, yung variation. It's actually a variation problem din. Now, look. So, same bug, one bug din, one bug din naman yun. So, it's a, parang, uh, parehas naman yung comparison. One bug here, one bug there. Now, the bug will feed 18 pig in 54 days. So, you have number of uh, pigs that can be fed and the number of days that, it, that the bug will last. The time, the number of days that the bug will last. As you can see, very obvious, that if the number of pig is less, lesser, tama ba yung grammar ko? Lesser. Then the number of days that it will last gets longer. Uh, di ba? Tama ba? So, meaning, when one variable decreases, the other increases. So, kung, kung konti yung papakainin, tatagal. Kung dadami yung papakainin, mas dadami pa sa 18, eh di bababa. So, you have here an inverse variation problem. So, pag inverse na yung relationship, let's go, huwag na natin, huwag na natin dumaan sa K, yung K kanina. Pero the inverse relationship here is that P is K over H. Para makita nyo rin yung K. Kanina, naka-times. You recall, naka-times kanina. Dito, naka-divide. Now, bakit? Kasi nga, inverse. Balik talang. Now, if you can see, the constant of variation K is pH. So, meaning, you, what you have is a constant product. So, that's the fastest way to solve problems like this, constant product. So, it's simply 18 times 54. 
and then it will feed 12 pigs in how many days? Constant product. So I'll just divide by 12. Done. Tapos na doon, no? So 54, is 54 divisible by 12? No, but it's divisible by 6. So 9 by 6, 2. Now it can divide this. 9. Right? Tama ba? Tama ba? Tama. And 9 times 9. So it will last 81 days. Okay, nakuha ba yan? So, variation problem. So, nakakadalawang concept na tayo ng variation. Direct and inverse. Oh, now, let's go to the next. Ayan na naman yung mga discount problem, yung mga ganyang problem. Marami ang nad nadadali dito. No? Okay, good. So, guess time starts now. Challenge yourself that you can answer every problem in one minute, guys. All right? So yun, time's up na, no? Pero sige, continue answering. Dre, do you have an answer na? Meron na, Bly, meron ko na sagot. Siyempre, nasa iyo yung money, material din. And then, the rest, pa tanongin natin si Pam. Oh, and dito si Paul. Nice, Paul. Hi, Paul. Pam. Pam. Maging avatar na lang si Pam. So what you have guys in this problem is a series of discounts. So meaning 10%. Uh, uh, you have a price and then diniscount no, ng 10%. After that, diniscount ulit. Tapos yun yung final selling price which happened to be 306. Okay? So now, ang gawin natin, kunin natin yung equivalent single discount ng 10% and 15%. That's the plan. So kung isang discount lang ang dali ng problem. Pero what you have here is a series of discounts. Diniscount na ng 10, diniscount pa ng 15, yung discounted, of the discounted. So what you, call, what you have is a series. So parang ganito, usually pag naglagay ka ng, ng, ng number na sakto, like 100, 1,000, 10,000, ang dalig makita ng equivalent discount ng series. 1,000 pesos na lang guys. First discount, the first discount is 10%. So, tell me yung magiging bagong price. Yan, ang dali. Alam na alam. Again, you have a 10% discount sa 1,000. Ano na yung bagong new price after the first discount? Edward. Naka-on na yung nagsasalita ka na rin. 900. Ang galing talaga ni Edward. Yan ang gusto ko Edward. 
900. Pero yung 900 na yan, magdi-discount ulit siya ng second, which is 15%. So, ano yung 15% ng 900? Yun ang mababawa sa 900. So, medyo hindi na simple, no? 15 times 100. Over 100 times 900. So, it's 9 times 15. 5. 135. So, yun, 135, ang magbabawas ko 900. So, the new price after the second discount is 765. Tama ba, guys? Yung subtraction ko. From 1,000, naging 765 after the sale of the discount. So, naging ano na lang, ano yung nabawa sa price? Ano yan? 2, 3, 2, 3, 5. 2, 3, 5. Kaya ang guling makita ng equivalent ng series of discounts natin because 2, 3, 5 yun na less sa 1,000. It's a base. Uh, ang, ang ano no, natin no, no. ay 10. So this is 23.5. Hindi yes. naman ako yun. Okay. O, Edward, mute mo na sarili mo. Nakaka-recite ka na. Pwede na yan. Okay. Now, ang binili ng sudyante 306. No, 306. Ibig sabihin, that was after this discount. No, yung 306 na yan is after this discount. So meaning, uh, na, uh, ano siya, ang nabili niya is actually 76.5% of the original price. Ito yung original price, original cost. Tatawagin na natin siyang C. At yun nga yung 306. Okay? Now, 76.5 is obviously 7.5 over 100 over 76.5 over 1,000. Parang ganyan. Uh, simplify muna natin to. So divide ba, divide, divide lang naman hanggang sa sumimple. Oh, help me out. Divide by 5 guys. 100 yung ilalim. Divide by 5. 1. 25. 5. Good. And 153 is divisible by 3, pero ito hindi na. So, ang gagawin ko, 153C over 200 equals 306. Tama ba, guys? So, C, I'm running out of space, pero okay na yan. C is equal to actually 306, 306 times the reciprocal 153200, which is 200 over 153. Good thing 306 and 153 can still be simplified. But they are both divisible by by 9. 5 by 9? 306 divided by 9. Tayo. Sir, pwede na 153. Ayaw nga, no? Galing mo talaga. Times 2. Tama, tama. Galing talaga ni Edward. Tama naman, ha? Yan si Edward. So, ang sagot ay 400 pesos. See that? 400 pesos. Tama ka ba, Dre? Because here, what we have is a series of discount. Iba, iba yung dynamics nun. Ganyan nag-work yung series. Okay ba yan? O, oh, yun. So... Sir, yeah. sir. Yes, Bly. Ay. Yes. So, yan na ba yung fastest na pwede namin gawin, if ever? Ano? Okay. Fast. Yes, idadaan ka sa sales sa doon sa ano sa equivalent discount ng sales. Lalo na kung ang binigay na discount ay pangit. Bawat 12 well, dapat. Okay, sige, sige. Uh, it will make it harder yung mga ano yung arithmetic ng iba. Remember, this is just arithmetic, wala pa mga variable dito. Okay. Now, next, last four. Oh, ayan. Ah, uh, separate ko lang ulit to two screens ng dalawa. So, this is easy warm-up. Yan, you will see eight old word problems again, guys. Lalo na yung mga application age problem. Yung mga ganyan, you will see this again. Lalo na sa mga entrance exam. This is easy, so parang warm-up siya. Go, one minute.
Dapat may sagot ka na, Sage. Samantalayin yung, e- yung easiness ng problem. Meron bang ganong word? Easiness? Easiness of the problem? Meron bang ganong word? Edward, Edward, making ano, consultant? Based sa ano, parang ano, hindi ko naman alam yan eh. Easiness? Meron bang ganon? Meron, Chip? Ano? Basta ikaw ang nagsabi. Thumbs up! <coughs> okay. Okay, guys. Usually, when I encounter word problem, and then may dalawang unknown, pinu two variables ko na agad. So sabi, Sarah is twice as old as her younger brother. So, X is Sarah to Y. So, meaning, Y yung younger brother. Done. The difference between their ages is 15. <coughs> so, done. And then just substitute. X is 2Y to 2Y minus Y, 15. Y, 15. So, younger brother, done. All right, guys. <coughs> Follow Sorry, just follow what's being uh, said in the problem. The instruction niya. Get the last simple. Kaya tinanong ito, Sage, kung may sagot ka na. Kasi ganyan yung kabilis yan. Okay, next. Ito yung next. Ito yung guys, napaka-simple ng problem pero may isang importanteng concept na sablay ka na sa problem yan just because of that. Units guys, right? And, ayun na, malapit naman time, 10 seconds. Answer. Concept, one yard, three feet. So, kailangan alam nyo pa rin yung mga yan. Otherwise, the supply. So, 20 feet is how many yards? So, one yard, three feet. Four yards. Twenty feet. One yard, three feet conversion. So this is equivalent to twenty over three yards. So the area of the, the kitchen floor in terms of yards is eighty over three yards squared or square yards. And it's 0.91 per square yard. Designed naman yung mga gantong problem. Note 8.91 is exactly divisible by 3. 
How? Because 8, 9, 1 will add up to 18. And 18 is divisible by 3. So, madi divide. Kasi kung hindi mo isip agad yun, multiply to 80 agad, imagine the time that you will consume. Do you get my point, guys? Remember, it's all about time management. So, 2.97 times 80. Kaya na lang. Mumultiply na lang natin to. Ganun talaga. Twenty three point seventy up. Then two hundred thirty seven point one point don. Point six dollars. Question. All right, we're down to the last two. I like this problem. I like this problem a lot. Ang daming nabibiktima niyan. A cyclist bikes X distance at 10 miles per hour and returns over the same path at 8 miles per hour. What is the cyclist average rate for the round trip in miles per hour? Hulaan ko, ang dami ng tapos na agad. Kasi ang sinagot ay 10 plus 8, 18 divided by 2, 9. If that's your answer, you're wrong. Tawa si Sage. Yun ba sagot mo, Sage? Yes, sir. Mali. Mali, mali yun, boy. Mali. Hmm, sabi ni Edward na, mali. Hindi yun ganun. Kung kinakakita ka ng average, I-average mo 8 and 10. That's the answer. No. Kailan magigi Kailan ba ganun? Kailan ganun yung, yung gagawin? Example, guys. A cyclist 1 averages 10 miles per hour in covering X distance. Cyclist 2 averages 8 miles per hour in covering X distance. What is their average speed? Yun yung ilaati divide ng 2. Here, we're talking about a round trip. Round trip. And di ganun. Distance, rate, times time. So, word problem to. Papunta. Pabalik. If you're talking about a round trip ng same cyclist, then his average rate for the whole trip is his total, this one, this is total distance over his total time. Clear ba yun? Ganyan. So sinabi na dyan, X, X then returns over the same path. Rate, 10, pabalik, 8. Now, 
You know that D is R T. This is R times T. What do you think is this one? So T is D over R. T is D over R. What is D over R here? So everything. That's it. Yeah. And then in total time. So uh, total distance. X plus X. And then in total time. X over 10 plus X over 8. That's how you should answer problems like this. Then simplify lang natin. The, LC, the denominator can be combined. 80. Actually, ang, ang bobo. Tama ba, Edward? Sorry, no, Edward. Hindi <laughs> ang LCD ng 10 and 8. Anong LCD ng 10 and 8? Oh, hindi rin alam. 40. 40? 40. 40. Plus 5x. So, you get 2x all over 9x over 40. And that's the same as 2x times 40 over 9x. You see how that x is irrelevant because it will just cancel out. So 2 times 40 over 9, the answer here is 80 over 9. Miles per hour. Clear? Kailan yung i-average ko lang? Kailan yung i-add lang? Kapag magkaiba, hindi round trip. Pag round trip, kailangan dumaan sa distance, rate, time, papunta pa balik, total D over total D. Clear? Uh, let's have... Actually, yung, yung last score ni na eh, parang ano siya eh, parang yung, yung ano, yung kanina yung cost ng yard, yung mga ganyan. So, wag na lang yan. So, okay. We're done for our material. And if you look at the time, we started almost the same time an hour ago. Right, Nathan? Parang almost an hour na rin tong bid. Tama ba, Nathan? So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, guys, uh, we, I wish you na makover yung marami, lalo lang if we, we progress to difficult questions. So, these problems are usually uh, pinakamahirap dito. Ito na, I think this is the distance problem. And then yung successive rate problem na. Uh, Basta ganun lang, I will look at, the, I will see through the materials na sined ni Bly, tingnan ko ano yung gusto ko dun, and then, on, on average, we'll be doing, discussing mga ganito, mga 10, and let, siguro pag efficient na tayo, 15 problems per meeting. Okay? As, and then, habang makover natin yung lahat ng pwedeng makover, imagine, uh, I think what appeared here is just grade 7, numerical ability, quantitative ability lang, and some grade 8 problem, variation, word problem. And, makukover din natin, uh, we will encounter more and more problems uh, ng mga iba pa sa mga social meetings. Okay ba guys, can we have this as our wrap-up for our first day? Sure, yes. sure. Okay, so yes, guys, thank you for attending. Ang dami nyo, sobra. Yung isa 40, 40 plus lang, yung isa 30 plus lang. Kayo, you are in 78 in total. Sabi na third. <laughs> so, yun guys. I'll give you the slot Wednesday and Saturday. If it's okay with you, uh, please attend every Wednesday and Saturday. You're also welcome to attend the other online trip sessions. I'll be doing this until August 24. Bakit guys? Gusto kong magpaka-busy. Meron akong kinakalikutan. Joke lang. Oh, bye. Yan. So, okay guys. Thank you for coming. See you again next meeting. Good day. Pagkalain.